Well, today we continue the custom KTM 125 Duke build project and you can actually win that bike. Previously, we added an adjustable sub cage and crash bobbins to protect the bike. We tidy up the rear section with a CNC machine plate holder and many other upgrades to improve the handling of the bike. Let me blow your mind already on the beginning of the vlog by tons of cool parts for my rear wheel. So I want to change the stock sprocket, which is out of steel with this aluminum CNC machined one, orange anodized. The difference is also this is a 48 sprocket versus the 45 and this gives a better acceleration but a bit less top speed. Then we're gonna add this orange chain, high quality and our signature rim plates to finish up the look of the wheel and if you are wondering where you can get it, check the link in the description. So now let's start wrenching. I'm just shocked uh, the difference. I knew that it's lighter, but I just wanted to check how much. And uh, it shows that it's a bit over than half a kilo and approximately 1.3 pounds difference between the stock, which is steel and this aluminum one. And in the rotational mass, that's a huge difference and you can definitely feel in the acceleration. And yeah, the wheel is done. Uh, only chain is missing, so let's continue. I have a quick tip for you for replacing the new chain to avoid fiddling around the tight spots of the front sprocket. So here is a quick rock on tech tip. You need to connect the new sprocket with the old one. I did it with a zip tie or the pin that comes with the sprocket. And then just super easy pull the stock sprocket. And voila, that's it. Last but not least, we're gonna add the toe guard to protect the limbs. I wasn't quite sure or if I should keep the stock chain or replace it with the orange one, but I think I did the right decision. Look at this now, the orange frame connects to the orange chain and I think it looks nice, especially now with the uh, anodized sprocket and also the toe guard. And also the rim plate has this orange graphics and I would say let's move on now. Yeah, last time I forgot to finish up the look of the handlebars with the bar end weights and yeah, let's add this little detail that makes a big difference. The bar end weights will keep the handlebar safe and also stabilize the handlebar. And I hope that the lucky winner will never need to try them out. And yeah, we are now done with that. The next thing is actually a big change, so let's go to my colleague Gavorin, and, aka Dave, and let's see what he prepared for us. Yo Dave! What up? Yo! Welcome to the garage. Cool. <laughs> why why we lie that much, man? Look at there, there's his office, you see that chair? <laughs> yeah, we are a small company, man. So Dave, you said on the phone that the lucky winner of this bike, that when he sees that bike for the first time, his mind will be blown away. Yeah, because I'm also a huge fan of KTM bikes and I uh -huh. really like uh, this racing heritage. This bike is inspired by first MotoGP win. Ah, okay. Yep. Who won the first race for KTM? I uh, forgot. It was Brad Binder. Exactly. Yeah. I yeah. think it was Czech uh, MotoGP, That's right? That's right. Uh, it was a really passionate moment uh, when they uh, win. Yeah, that was a huge win for KTM. You always uh, have good names for the sticker kits. What's the name of this sticker kit? This is Tributo. Ah, because it's a tribute. That's right, yeah. Ah, that, that's a nice name. 
Okay, I would say we should start to wrap this bike and oh, uh, this time I have a trick for you guys. I don't want to spoil you too much, so we're gonna cut out the colors in 3, 2, 1, go! Okay, let's start wrapping! <laughs> And it's finally giveaway time. Two easy steps how you can participate in winning this brand new KDM 125 Duke custom bike that we are building. So by buying an ebook for nine euros. Exactly, or every purchase over 175 euros gets you one entry. So good luck guys and Dave, let's continue styling this bike. That's right. Dave, since you are the creator of Tributo, <laughs> this is the last sticker, so the honor is yours to put it in the bike. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mind blown by the bike, how it looks. It's definitely one of the best, if not the best design mm -hmm, you did that's for right. now. Enough of teasing now, the bike is finished. So bike porn in three, two, one. It's been a long day again, but a very productive one. We actually completely changed the whole bike and I think it came out great, but I would like to hear your opinion. So let me know in the comments below if you like the design or you would change something or some parts we should add. I would like to hear your opinion, like always. And a huge thanks to our sponsor Scorpion Exo and Cardo Communication System for this historical giveaway. We actually never gave away a brand new bike and I'm super happy we can do that and make one of you guys a happy winner. And thank you Cardo and thank you Scorpion Exo for that. And also for those that are interested what parts we put on that bike, I made a list in the description of that video, so check them out. And right now you can already see a new window here. It's actually the episode three of that build where we put some performance parts on that bike. So if you're interested, go and check it out. And that's it for this episode. See you in the next one. Until then, rock on.